Hello, good morning guys. Thanks for watching Elise Makes a Bunch of Videos. I'm in Carry Carry still for the next couple days. Just gonna finish trimming that Pajoa that I started the other day. You can see that little section that's been done. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do a little few trops and probably some in the middle. It looks pretty tall and needing a bit of a cut in the middle but um that's probably gonna be on my last job for the day here other than maybe i might try and mow off some of the lawn that hasn't been done um a bit shorter so that it lasts a bit longer because i am gonna be gone for at least eight or nine weeks possibly forever we'll see how it goes um the pack house in carry carry actually just opened for repacking or they sent me a message at least saying they were looking for workers. Look at all these nasturtiums. And um, so I could just stay and do that and probably actually save more money but good to have a little bit of change of scene, not be doing kiwi fruit although I'm back into horticulture even though I don't really need to be but it just seems to be the easiest job to find short notice for full time but also not permanent so it's a whole thing um but yeah so i'm leaving sunday it is friday uh, i did my last day housekeeping at the homestead motel yesterday i wasn't sure if they'd give me a shift today or not but obviously not um so i am doing a little bit of the little bit like house sitting today in the afternoon, but only for like three hours. So yeah, I figured I'd do a little pottering around this morning. And just been watching a few podcasts, had breakfast. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to that pruning. I'll start packing up the room. And yeah, just a few little last minute. Uh, loose ends to tie up before I head north. Um, so yeah, it's good to get back on the road. I feel like that's the other reason why I wanted to move and do something else somewhere else, just because I can now, like, because not everyone is allowed to leave their little local areas still, but I feel like life is maybe getting back to normal in a lot of places, or normaler. Um... And then, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few months with the whole Australia situation. But, um, yeah, just keep on keeping on. Um, is there other news? I bought the O2 sensor for my car, but it hasn't been installed yet. But that's not really urgent, but at least I have the part now. So it's halfway there. Um, yeah, and it's sunny out, so yeah, I thought I'd do a little outside work, get the blood flowing, get the oxygen happening. I watched this video yesterday by Shri Akarkana, I can't remember his last name, um, but I posted it on my Use at Your Own Risk playlist, so hopefully I'm going to go back and uh, rewatch it. It's like a morning meditation five yoga poses for morning meditation slash manifestation or whatever um and so that was pretty interesting i made a little cheat sheet for it which i don't have with me but it was quite good pretty easy like poses and um i'm trying to remember the five themes it was uh surrender connectivity prayer receiving and gratitude so there's five poses with that and you're supposed to focus on those five things in the morning to set your day up um so i thought that was pretty cool i'm not gonna say i'm gonna do it every day but i feel like if i have time in the mornings or in the afternoons even i'm gonna try and put that into my little sometimes routine 
Um, but yeah, that's all the news update stuff from me. And I'm sure I will give you a tour of the holiday park once I make it up north. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well and we'll uh, see you next video. Peace.